Hey guys, Crypto Crane Gang here again with another unboxing video. This one focusing exclusively on the Antminer Z9. As you'll recall, the last unboxing video we did was for the Z9 Mini. And at the end of that one, we teased this one. So, here it is. Let's go! So, as you can see, based on the size of the box alone, Mini this thing is not. It's big, significantly bigger than most of the other Antminer boxes we receive. Like, almost D3 big. And judging by the shape, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that this is another one of those two fans on the front, no fans on the back sort of configurations. You know, the tall chassis as opposed to the long chassis. Let's take a look. And there we go. Two fans on the front, no fans on the back. Taller, not longer. This is the third Antminer model in as many months to use this configuration. Wonder what's prompting the design shift. Speaking of things to wonder about, considering the size of the box, it's deceptively small. I mean, not Z9 Mini small, but just based on the size of the box alone, I was expecting a slightly bigger miner. Hmm. Kind of curious, but then again, Bitmain is certainly known for making curious moves. Anyway, let's keep going. And there it is, up close and personal. Looks like two power connectors per hashing board. Hmm, interesting. Let's take some measurements. Looks like the Z9 measures 9 inches long. And about 5 inches wide. And 11 inches high. As for the weight, the Z9 clocks in at 10 pounds, 5 ounces. Okay, so there are the physical specs. Now let's take a look at the operational statistics. Hooked up in mining, the Z9 produces just over 71 decibels of noise. Which is also kind of curious, as that's just about the same amount of noise the Z9 Mini produces. And in terms of power consumption, looks like it pulls just about 977 watts. Significantly more than the Z9 Mini. Now let's take a look at the all-important 24-hour profit snapshot. We ran the Z9 for just over 24 hours, and during that time, it mined at an average of about 43 k souls per second. At time of testing, one Zcash was worth $117.39. And in 24 hours, our Z9 mined point one eight one one seven six six four eight nine six two nine three two Zcash, which comes out to roughly twenty one dollars and twenty seven cents. Now, before we wrap up, there's just one more point to cover. Much like the Z9 Mini, the Z9 also has a built-in overclocking feature. This guy right here. Unlike the Z9 Mini, there aren't nearly as many overclocking options in terms of speed. You have regular and you have turbo. But still. It's a built-in overclocking feature, the second one we've seen. Is this a new trend we can expect from Bitmain? Who knows? <laughs> Point of fact, who knows why they do a lot of the stuff that they do. But, in any case, it's definitely worth knowing about. So there's the Z9 in all its glory. Let's quickly recap a couple of the more important details we covered. The Z9 measures 9 inches long, by 5 inches wide, by 11 inches high, and weighs 10 pounds, 5 ounces. Powered up and running normally, it produces just over 71 decibels of noise and pulls about 977 watts. And at time of testing, in 24 hours, it mined just about $21.27 worth of Zcash. So there it is. That's the Z9 in a nutshell. But before we go, as we teased at the end of the Z9 mini unboxing video, we're almost done working on our Z9 Mini and Z9 overclocking video. We put both the Z9 Mini and the Z9 through some turbocharged trials and recorded what happened. So be sure to keep your eyes out for that one. As ever, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, kindly give the video a like, subscribe to our channel as, again, we have new stuff coming out all the time, and stay tuned for future releases. See you guys.